What up guys, live here with Pro Play Games right Ooh. after the regional at Kissimmee. We got our top eight competitor, Gabriel, the Zeus Sensei, Ooh. Melina. Uh. What'd you do, bro? What'd you play? Yo, so, you know, I picked up my handy dandy zoo deck and I went to the regionals and I top. Um, I lost round one and then I won out and then I drew the last round with the state, uh, round nine. And uh, yeah, uh, before we start again, I have a lot of shout outs. Um, shout outs to Pro Play Games, Ultra Pro, uh, Machado, my favorite people, everyone in Florida, um, Chris LeBlanc, uh, Saniba for picking me up and taking me, he's awesome. Josh for letting me sleep over. Oh, all right, and I have two real, oh, uh, Roach, Steven Roach, he loaned me his deck, he's the best. And then I have two important shout outs. One is a worldwide shout out for Tony. <laughs> T Money, that, that man is the nuts. He taught me everything I know. And then my other one is another global shout out. It is to Jules again. <laughs> Jules, I love you. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's get into the deck real quick. Let's do it. All right, yeah, so um, two rats, uh, three whip tail, one ram, and one throw blade. The same thing as last time. Uh, it's just the standard. Uh, three terror tops and a tug and board. I do this card a lot. It was whatever. I'm the nuts. I don't need it. Uh, three ash and three ogre. And then uh, two flying seed, two retaliating, two. So these cards were actually like completely dead in my deck. Uh, like I didn't play against as much zoo as I wanted to, and I would draw this and lose like most of my game ones. But then I would just win game two and three. Yeah, I played against zero zoo. How many zoo did you play against? Uh, like three or four. I played a lot, a lot of true Draco and Draco zoo, and like. I would flying see them and they'd pop, or I'd flying see them with Ghost Ogre. I'd pop the Draco thing and then they'd have another one. Yeah, yeah, so it was like, it started sucking. I actually ended up taking it out later on. Yeah. Uh, and then the one Luna Light with the uh, one Fusion sub. I only played one this time. Um, the only time that it comes up to play two, it's like to draw like five or six, but I can draw four with with just one, so I keep it like that. And then uh, I played one Insta Fusion this time. This card has like, the flicks dimension of like it's good going first because you can play with like through ghost ogre and stuff and then uh going second like it gives you an extra push and like if you go first and like you make a board and you get board wiped like you're in a bad spot because like if all you have is a normal sum you just keep getting dried and popped and you can never play again but with a card like insta fusion lets you uh start playing again uh one book of moon uh it stops uh like the normal summons it stops us from making zoo plays and it stops uh flying seat uh, three of my body is a shield again. This card's solemn scolding. It's the nuts. It stops board wipes. I don't feel comfortable if I don't have this set. There was a game where I was losing, and my opponent had two masterpieces on the field, and I was just like, oh man, I lost. I have this card in my hand and a whip tail. Oh, and I drew token board for turn, and I was like, oh, what do I do? He has two masterpieces, so I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna play for fun. He has one masterpiece unaffected by spells and traps, or by spells and monsters. The other one affected by traps and monsters. And he only has one pop left. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna summon this whip tail for fun, bro. And I summon it. Then I tiger mortar whip tail says so that's 24. Then I bravo searcher whip tail so that's th that's 36. I'm like, oh, all right, I'm just gonna attack this one. I attack the one that's unaffected by uh, monsters and traps. And he uses that one. And then I my body, I pop it. He doesn't know more pops run over the other masterpiece. He had no more cards in his hand. Wow. <laughs> and uh, three barrage, three tanky, a standard. Let me do yep. Uh, and then um, two board wipes. Uh, these cards are the nuts. They re they re like establish the game state. Like if you're in a losing position, you use them, and when you're in a winning position, it just you save it until you're in a losing position. Uh, and then three traps, uh, three D bears. Again, these weren't that good either. I played against a lot of True Draco and the the masterpiece deck. They saw masterpiece on me a lot. And then, uh, extra deck or yeah, extra deck. All right. So for the extra deck, uh, one Borbo, one Hammer Kong. Uh, two Broad Bull, two Shaka Nine, uh, two Tiger Mortar, and then I played uh, three Dragons. Um, like at the end of every combo, like everything gets Emerald back except this. So, like I want this. I want to be able to not have to Emerald this back. There's times when, um, like later in the game, when I need to secure the game, like I want to have this in the grave, bring this back, Tiger Mortar, equip, uh, equip here, and then put a Dryden over here, and with two Dryden, so they, like there's no way of them barraging or terror topping to come back in the game with the normal summon. Place. Yeah, and then um, for my generic ring four is just two emerald, uh, just like drawing cards, recycling the deck. Uh, one invoker and one Norden. I didn't play tornado dragon this time. Uh, I think that card's not very good. I didn't like it. I didn't miss it. Never thought about making it. 
uh, for the side deck, um, two Econs, and uh, Mind Control. Um, I was, after ARG Richmond, uh, we Iron Man Noah and like Drew and them, and I saw Noah swagging with this. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm putting it in my side deck. He looked fresh doing it. We, the dream is to like, like for some reason, like we go like normal summon retaliating C, attack Dryden, and then go pop, and we chain this, tribute this, take their Dryden, and search flying C, and that's like the FTK. Um, but yeah, th these cards are good, and then this card's whatever too. Uh, it's just playing with your opponent's monsters. Uh, three Gamma Seal. Um, I would have played with two and a sticky string, but I couldn't find a sticky string. Uh, the same reason, like, I'd rather draw this one over any other one, but, um, I want to draw two different ones if I draw two. But this one's the best one because two Whiptails runs it over. Uh, two Forbidden Chalice. This is here for game two and three, mostly for, uh, Flying C. So, like, it stops Flying C, and then, like, it also stops, uh, Dryden and, like, Masterpieces and stuff. Um, and then, uh, three Cosmic Cyclones. Last week I only played two and two Twin Twisters, but I only wanted this card, so I just added three of it. It's really good against the two Draco deck. And then, uh, all the old mans. Uh, two Scoldings, a Warning, and Imperial Order. Uh, I wanted this to side up the barriers, and then this stops spells. So yeah, against, against the true Draco deck, like, I would go ham inside all these cards in, and I'd just take out, like, It'd be like an anti true Drago deck, and I'd take all the the Zeus stuff out of there, like the the D barriers, the flying seas, uh, the retaliating seas, the max. And yeah, that's that's it. Cool, bro. Thanks again for the uh, deck profile. It looks like you're really strong at the end of uh, broken formats like Norton and uh, Skullcrack Joker. Hopefully, seeing <clears throat> what you have for in store for us at ARG Atlanta in about two weeks. Um, you know, you've had great success, and uh, hope to see a lot more from you in the future, man. All right. Good luck on that. Peace.